Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in a new like filming area. I'm actually sitting and filming in my kitchen right now, so if the sound and like background is different, that's why. This is the only place in my apartment that has a white wall that is just white because for some reason my camera is like changing the focus if I have something going on in the background so I decided to try this way and see if that's better today's video if you haven't already seen the title is the best of 2017 uh, makeup skincare and just random if I have something that is not in those categories. So I think I'm gonna start with skincare for this video. If you don't wanna see any skincare related products, then I'm gonna put like the time down here that the makeup part starts. So if you just wanna jump into the makeup and skip the skincare, that's fine. Just go and do that. Starting off with skincare, one of my best products in 2017 is this uh, Water Bright Dark Spot Corrector from the brand H2O Plus Beauty, I think it's called. This is basically like a uh, serum kind of thing that you put on your skin before moisturizer to kind of like heal the skin from dark spots and scarring from acne. And I love that it has a pump. It smells so good. This one is empty. I have to buy a new one. But for this size, it's pretty expensive. Like. I know that good skincare tends to be expensive and it's something that you may think is worth um, investing in, at least I think so, but I just feel like I wish this one was like a tiny bit bigger with more products in so that it would last longer, but it's a very good one. I saw results directly, like this one took away like my dark spots of acne scarring because I'm one who always picks on my like pimples and it leaves scars I know it's so bad but this one saved my skin and yeah I'm gonna go and buy a new one because this was my favorite in 2017. Another skincare product that I have been using for a couple of months now that I have been loving is this Biodermite like micellar water I think it is I actually bought this one in Paris, so it is in French on mine, but I think this is like just the cleanse of water, but this is like the sensitive skin one, but on the bottle it just say stuff in Fr French, which I can't speak. So uh, yeah, but this is the sensitive one, the bottle looks like this if you haven't seen it before, and you can see that I have used quite a bit on this one. I have a backup one, it's just a very good micellar water. Uh, that I have enjoyed using. Another like skincare makeup removing product is these makeup wipes from Simple. It's also the Sensitive Skin Experts Kind to Skin one that looks like this. It's like this green packaging. Hey. Okay. Anyway. I have never been able to get a hand on these in Sweden before. Like I bought these when I was in the States. I bought these uh, from Amazon ones, I think, but I've never seen them in store in like a drugstore close by where I live in Sweden. But now, for some reason, the drugstore that is like 10 minutes away from me have gotten the simple line, like this one, the foaming cleanser, like a toner water and a moisturizer and these wipes. And I was like so excited when I saw this because these are so kind to my skin. I hate up, like having to apply makeup wipes that hurts. Uh, so yeah, I just love that these don't hurt my skin. They don't even like tingle. Like sometimes when I use these, my skin can kind of feel like tight, but that's not a bad thing for me. I feel like it's like cleaning out my skin and just leaving it like all clean and bare. So yeah, I just love these makeup wipes. If you live close to me in Sweden, if you know me personally, you can now get a hand on these. And if you have, um, if you have the chance to try these simple wipes, then go out and get them and try them. I definitely recommend these wipes for you. Something I don't know how to pronounce almost. Like this is the brand Caudalie, Caudalie. I don't know how to say this. But this is their Smoothing Glowing Beauty Elixir. Uh, I saw the Perkins talk about this one and I've been wanting to try it for so long. But they were like so expensive on Amazon to ship to Sweden. So I wasn't like, I wasn't like 
that into it, you know? But then I saw these on like a drugstore, like pharmacy in Paris and I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I need to get one of those. But I got two of them and to be honest, I love this. I know that you can apply this on your bare skin, on top of makeup, just to set it. It's just like a very fine mist and it smells so much like fruits and fresh and like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's so fresh. The only thing that is so weird is that it's like tingling on your skin if you apply it like before moisturizer. It's like, yeah, you know, like it tingles, like, but it doesn't sting, it's not hurting, but you know, it feels very good. It feels like I'm at a spa whenever I'm using this, so yeah. So I guess this is kind of skincare. So this is the Rituals Sensational Foaming Shower Yell. So this is a shower yell that is more of like a foam, which I've never tried before. I actually got this at Christmas as a Christmas gift. So I've only had this for like a couple of weeks, but I freaking love the feeling of showering with this. It's a foaming gel that is just like foaming up and it feels so moisturizing on the skin. It feels so good. I know they have like uh, like different kind of scents to this. And my organic rice milk and cherry blossom smells so good, feels so good, just amazing. Go and try one of these. And they're not like super expensive, so yeah love this so i love to look tan even though it's not summer i hate to be pale like i don't need to be super tan but just like a hint of color and bronze would like just make my body look so much better and make myself feel so much better so for self tanning this year i have tried like five six different brands in total in my life of like tanning but this year i have been mostly using the loving tan the looks bronzing mousse in the shade ultra dark this is like the six hour one you should have this on for like about six hours i have used this one and just had it on for like three hours and it still gives you like a beautiful color i'm actually using this one right now like i am tanning my body i have this on i have to go and shower after filming this video that's why i'm sitting here with like a big t-shirt like you can see I have like a fresh layer of tan on uh, but I just love this one and this smells good I know a lot of fake tan products smells weird but this one actually smells very good uh, yeah I have the two hour express one as well but in the dark version not like the ultra dark one but I prefer this one because this gives me more of like a olive natural tan like I would if I went out to the sun, you know? So, for my breakouts, like whenever I have a pimple and I just want to like get rid of it before it's like too big, I apply the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil uh, like serum. I don't know, this is like the concentrated one in a small bottle. Uh, this is my second one. I just, sometimes I just dip like a Q-tip on and put it on my pimple. Sometimes I put this on a cotton pad and just like rub it on the area where I feel like I need it. And this one dries out the pimples without like super drying out the skin. So I really love tea tree oil for my breakouts and yeah, that's all. If you have a breakout then put some tea tree oil on it and it's like it's not like completely gone and like it's not like magic but it takes away like most of it and it takes away some redness and you know just kind of dries it out just minimizing the problem a bit. I don't feel like I need to say much about this next product because a lot of people use this and if you haven't then I don't know where you've been and what you're doing. So this is Fix Plus from MAC. It's just like an amazing product. You can use it for so many things to set your makeup, intensify your eyeshadows, uh, like take away the powder from the face. It's just like perfect. So if you don't have the Fix Plus one, then I don't know what you're doing. I'm almost out of this one. I have a backup one, of course. I have saved all of my empty ones because I wanted to like give them back to MAC to get a free product. I know that some MACs do that. But I have 10 of this one. That is insane, I know. But I have 10 empty bottles of this one because I use this one so much for so many things and I freaking love this product. So if you don't have this, and I don't know what you're doing. I freaking love this. So now I want to go into the more makeup part of this video. Uh, I'm gonna try to do what order I put things on my face. So starting off with makeup, I'm starting with primers and I actually have a few that I have been using quite a while on my 
face is here from NYX. This is the Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. This is oil free. This is more like a smoothing, like at least on my face, it's more of like a smoothing one that is just like a very nice base for your makeup. I love this one. It's not that expensive, so that's a plus as well. Then I am kind of dry and I need to have some hydration to my skin before I apply like foundation and powders and all that. I have the Too Faced Hangover Primer that is like the coconut primer, I think. This is silicone free and it's just a replenishing face primer. This is a very good primer and I love the fact that it's like in a squeezy tube but it has a pump, like it's so good. This is like hydrating but it's not like too oily or anything on my face. It just hydrates and just lets me apply my makeup on very smooth and I just freaking love this primer, okay? so. I don't have much to say, I just love this primer, it works for me, and I don't have like super dry skin, I have like combination sensitive and acne prone skin, I have like a very weird skin, so this one works for me, so I get this would work for like anyone, except if you were like super super oily, I don't know about that, it's a little more expensive than the NYX one, but it is a hella good primer, so. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Magic, Magic? Lumi Magic Base. This is the Pure Light Primer. It's like a pearly primer. This is like a dupe for the Becca Backline Primer Filter, if that's what it's called. Uh, it's amazing. It's like a white, pearly, like, glowy, shimmering primer without any glitters. And for the drugstore, this is like amazing, you guys. So, yeah. It's a very cute, very good primer if you want to, like, look glowy and not like super oily because it's not like super oily anyway so yeah so for foundation so i am a foundation mixer so i always take like two or three different foundation and mix them before i apply them to my face so i'm not like one who is like super in love with just this foundation or that one like i'm mixing them together because i love the results of like their qualities together but I have two foundations that I love by themselves that I'm gonna show you one is drugstore and one is not starting off with the more expensive one this foundation I bought this summer and I fell in love like and I haven't stopped loving this one this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation this is just an amazing amazing foundation it looks so good on photos I had this on a concert for the first time and it looked amazing it was raining on the concert I was sweating it was super hot I was like so close to all the people but my face still looked like so good this is just such an amazing foundation and I actually like this one more than their stick version so yeah an amazing amazing foundation the drugstore foundation I have been loving is the Maybelline luminous and smooth foundation this is just a very 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 good foundation I love how this one stays on I also love the Madame Poreless one I think it's called from Maybelline but this luminous and smooth one is like perfect whenever I have dry patches on my skin this does not like emphasize them so this is a very very good foundation for my more dry combination skin you know and I love the colors and this color is perfect for whenever I am self tanning and I love that it's drugstore it's not that expensive so I will definitely rebuy this one whenever I am out so my camera kind of died a little bit so if the lightning or anything looks off then that's why uh, I don't know if I said it about any of the foundations but both of these have like a medium to billable coverage none of them are like full full coverage I'm still looking for that one foundation with like super full coverage that doesn't look cakey on me like one that i actually like uh so yeah these are both like medium to billable and yeah i love them both so for concealer i don't have like anything exciting new to talk about so i'm just gonna mention the two concealers that i have liked this year so they are the tarte shape tape that everyone have loved this year this is an amazing full coverage concealer and also from the drugstore I love the Maybelline fit me concealer this is just an amazing concealer uh, that hydrates your under eye from the drugstore so sometimes I mix these like on my under eye because this one is kind of more dry it's not like drying at all but it's more dry so yeah 
I love these two concealers, nothing more exciting than that. I have not tried like many new setting powders this year, but this one is still my favorite since many years back. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I know this is like a cult favorite and yeah, nothing exciting. The Laura Mercier all the way, I guess. I just love this powder so much. I have been into cream contouring quite a lot and I am a lot into sticks. I love the Hoola Benefit Stick like contour and bronzer stick. But this palette has been like my best friend when it comes to cream contour. And this is the Tartius Pro Glow palette. So that's the like cream bronzer contour shade, which is called shade. And then it has a sculpt. This one is called Sculpt and it's a powder and then it has four highlighters. So I love this palette for just the cream contour. I also use this one sometimes, the Sculpt powder. And also I love the highlighters. This one, which is called Fire, is so stunning to have on your body, like when you're tan, because this is such a dark bronzy shade. The formula is a little bit weird, like it's like crumbly, but it looks amazing on the skin because it's so like creamy. I don't know, but this palette is amazing. You get six very beautiful colors and like products. So yeah, I would really recommend and I love that this one opens like this. I don't know, I just, I love this palette so much. Speaking of contour, uh, this is the Kat Von D contour palette in the powder version. I have this on right now today. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette in the powder version. I know that she came out with a cream one, which I haven't tried, uh, but this one I got this summer. Very, very nice contour palette. I mostly use this shade in the middle mixed with the more lighter cool tone one and also the banana and like vanilla powder under my eyes sometimes to brighten up and yeah I never really use the darker shades right here but it's very nice that they included some more dark contour shades. I know that she like sells these like individually so you can put them in your like palette if you had the new version but I love that she sells them more individually so you can just get like your perfect shade and not have to buy the entire palette if you love one and that one runs out you know i have two bronzers this year that i have been using the most and one is not actually a bronzer it's a foundation powder that i have been using as a bronzer because i got it in a darker shade and this was just to get rid of my acne i had here i felt like the bronzer i was using cost me to break out so much in this area right here. So I got this one instead and it cleared up, so this is so good. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro uh, Powder Foundation and it looks like this. This is in the shade Toffee number 19. And as you can see, I clearly love this one because I only have like some product left on the edges here. This is such an amazing product for bronzing up your skin. I love the undertone of this color, number 19 Toffee. It's more of like a olive toned bronzer. So yeah, this one is amazing. I will definitely go out and buy a new one since I am clearly at the end of this one. So yeah. I've been a favorite 2017. I got this one last spring and I've already hit so much pen on this so you can see that I have loved this. The other bronzer I have been using quite a while this year but this is the Nars Laguna bronzer. This one is with the... I don't know if you can tell right now because I've used this one so much but this one had like a pattern that went like up there like a triangle. I don't know but this is like the new formula that is more of like a complete matte one I think. I don't know the difference actually but I love the Laguna shade like the color of this is just stunning. So it's just a perfect bronzer for me. It's such an amazing undertone to this bronzer and I just love it. So yeah not much more to say about that. I have a lot of highlighters that I have been obsessed with this year. The one I wanted to talk about is this MAC Holiday Collection, but I don't think this is like a limited color. I just think this is in like a limited packaging. This is the Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish from MAC. And I think this exists like in a normal packaging that is not limited. Anyway, I just got this one and this is the one with like the snowflake and the um holiday collection packaging but this highlight is so stunning it's like a gold like pure gold 
and I just love the way this looks on the skin. It just looks so amazing. I don't have this on today, so I can't show you how it looks on my skin. But it's an amazing, amazing highlighter. Just trust me. I don't know if they still sell the holiday collection. I don't think they do. Maybe they do in like some stores that still have them in stock. But the Whisper of Guild color, I think it is a permanent color. So if you can, go and buy the skin finish in Whisper of Guild. It's so stunning if you love golden highlighters. So I'm not much into blushes, but this one is like my number one this year. And this is so affordable, it's so good. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Apricot in the middle. And I think I've talked about this one on my channel before, but look at this color it's just like so stunning this is not like a super pigmented blush i have it on today but like my face is not like screaming blush right now so it's just such an amazing color it's like peachy it has like some like golden reflex to it so it's like not like super matte i have it on here but as you can see it's not like super pigmented so it's just like such an amazing like wash of color to make yourself look a little bit more alive and i know that i have a lot of other colors in this like collection of blushes from Wet n Wild and they are all amazing but this is my favorite one from that collection and like the favorite blush for the year. I definitely recommend the Wet n Wild blush especially since it's like so cheap like so affordable. Love this one. So the two things when it comes to lip products that has been like most stand out for me this year is the ColourPop ultra satin lips like the formula of these are amazing this is what i have on today in this color and it's in the color strip this is just like such an amazing formula it doesn't dry down like it's not kissing proof you want to have a ultra matte one that stays on more but it's not as comfortable on your lips then you can have that this is more like feels more like a normal lipstick on the lips you know and the formula is just amazing so ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips is my number one that I love the most then I have the Dose of Colors Over the Top Lip Gloss this is the collaboration with Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors I'm so sad that this is limited edition you guys and I only got one I wish I had at least one more tube of this gloss because I am not much into lip glosses but this is just like so stunning it's like clear with golden like reflex on it I put it down there I don't know if you see but it's just not such an amazing gloss I don't know I just freaking love this lip gloss like obsessed so this highlight palette i think this came out this year this is the nicole and anastasia bubble hills glow kit and the colors in here are so pretty they're like bronzy and one is like pure white and then she have like pink and purple and kind of like peachy apricotty and this is just like so stunning colors this is like such a girly highlight palette which is basically why i love it because i don't feel like i have anything that is this like pinky girly just like super flirty i don't know i just freaking love this palette you know so nicole you did good girl so now i only have eye products left I have a lot of eye stuff because that's like what I'm exploring most. So yeah, I'm gonna go into like eyeshadow palettes and singles and stuff like that. Two palettes I love this year is the Dose of Colors Baked Brows Palette and also the Marvelous Mobs one and that was such a weird one. I don't know. But I love these two palettes. I know she came out with like the... What are they called? With like two more versions of this like berries and... Sienna's? I don't know what, what they are called actually, I can't remember at the top of my mind right now, but they look stunning as well. But these two, like the formula of these, I don't know, if the other ones have the same formula, I would love them so much. What I like most about these are that they are all matte shades in here, and they are like so nice colors. This is the Baked Browns one, which is honestly my favorite one, because I am a basic bitch that loves uh, brown eyeshadow. This is all I have on my eyes today when it comes to eyeshadows. It's those two colors right here mixed together all over my lid. Uh, I just love, love, love the concept of these. If I were to go travel and want to pack light, this is what I would bring with me. So I realized how good the single eyeshadows from Buxom are this year. They are just stunning. I only have four of them, which is like 
more than I guess a lot of people have but I wish I had a lot more these are just stunning I have one matte and I think these are like metallic and like shimmer duochrome just like slide them out like this so and then you put your eyeshadows in here and you slide them back in so you can customize your own palette I just freaking love the formula and the matte ones are amazing this one blends so good and the metallic ones look stunning as well and yeah I definitely want to do more looks using these and I want to buy two more so I can fill my palette. I've never tried like a complete palette from Buxom, I've only tried these like singles but they are very good. So speaking of single eyeshadows, these I have like re-fallen in love with this year. These are the Ultra Super Shock Shadows. Uh, from Colourpop and they come like in this little singles so I have two colors here I just picked two out of my collection that I think look very good and I use quite a lot so the first one here that looks like this it's like a very nice metallic gold one this one is called Kathleen Lights so I think this is from one of her like quads that she did um, and this is just like such a stunning gold copper shade like the formula of these are more like a cream to powder kind of formula I freaking love this and then the other shade I picked is a a uh, green olive, a very beautiful one. I've used this like quite a while. I've used this like on nights out when I want to have like a crazy color on my lid. Like look at that one. Where can I swatch you? Like do you see that? That is just like so amazing and I've honestly forgotten a little bit about these but then when I started using them again I was like super shocked. Super shock shadows. You get what I did there? I don't like the matte one, so I don't feel like I need to buy a matte one that isn't that kind of consistency. I don't really like it, but I love the metallic ones. This is the Desi and Katie's collab with Lots of Color. This is their eyeshadow quad, and this is the one they are named after their dogs. I just freaking love the shades of this palette. I think of Desi and Katie when I see these shades and I feel like they really got through with this palette. It's such an amazing little palette. Look at how, look at this packaging. This is like super extra. I freaking love this. Then I don't feel like I need to say much about this because I feel like everyone loved this one this year. Uh, this is the Jacqueline Hale and Morphe palette. She did such a good job on this palette. This is like one of the best things that came out this year, honestly. I just love all the shades from this palette. So this is what the palette looks like. I love that she included like a lot of warm neutral shades, like just like a warm palette. This gives me like 35-0 vibes, you know, with like the red, orange, like all that. And then she also included like colors that if you bring this with you traveling, you would almost never pack these colors with you. But if you bring this palette, you kind of have that alternative if you want. So I don't know, she just did so... Katie. Yeah. She just did such a good job with this eyeshadow palette. I'm so impressed by her and like this speaks to me on such a different level. This is like a makeup lover's dream. I'm looking forward to use this more in 2018 because I'm taking this one with me to next year. For glitters this year, NYX won me over. I love their like face and body glitters. This one is in the shade bronze and this one is in the shade silver. I have done some tutorials using the bronze one. I have never used the silver one on my YouTube channel but I just freaking love these glitters and they are affordable and they are so good and they are like the right amount of chunkiness you know like it's not too big but they're also like not too small and still like a glitter. I don't know if you can see if this is like good enough camera for this but yeah such an amazing glitter now I will probably have it all over my kitchen anyway the best glitter this year goes to NYX I feel like I can't do this video this best of 2017 without mentioning the best thing that happened to me this year is this one this is Honestly, the best thing that happened to me this year and probably in a many years because 
she's gonna be my best friend and my partner in crime for so many years right now and I feel like this is the best decision I made this year to get her <laughs> she's like not into the bright lights right now but she is honestly the best thing that have ever happened to me so yeah that was all for today's video thank you so much for watching if you want to see more from me then please hit that subscribe button and i will see you in my next video bye guys